What's going on YouTube? This is Marcus and I'm back to talk about Braxton Family Values Season 6 Episode 7. Um, I'm not going to go scene by scene. I'm just going to talk about the two storylines that was in this episode. So, um, first of all, let me just say that there's still a little bit of tension when it comes to Tamar and the things that are going on with her divorce. But it was nice to see her in this episode and she was, you know, laughing and having a good time with her sisters. Um, which is not going to last long, especially once she finds out that, you know, Vince is being sued for, uh, you know, the stuff that's going on with the theme song. And, and also, let me just say this. Now, I feel like that lawyer... I don't know if he's trying to, you know, be relevant or what, what the thing is, because my thing is, from what we understand, Tawanda, Tracy, and, you know, the other sisters, they didn't know that they didn't get paid. Don't know how they didn't know or whatever, which means that neither one of them went to the family lawyer and said, hey, listen, I need you to go and research this, this, and this as far as the things are concerned. For whatever reason, he went and researched it himself and then brought the information to Tawanda. Now, my question is, why did you feel the need to go and research this stuff if they didn't come to you asking you to do the research? Now, he's a family lawyer. So my my thing would be, um, because we know that, you know, Tay, Vince was listed as like the owner of the song and then Tamar was listed as the main, the only singer. So... We're going to assume that Tamar didn't know that all of this was done. So if you're supposed to be the family lawyer, why did you not have all of the, the family come together and then you reveal what it is that you found out? Why did you only tell Tamar, I'm sorry, Tawanda and Trina? Like, I, I just feel like if he's a family lawyer, this, this should have been a conversation with, if not the entire family, at least all of the sisters should have been there. But whatever. I'm glad Tony finally, you know, was told the sisters that she's getting engaged because all of this inviting people out and, oh, I got something to tell you. But at the same time, like, girl, they already knew that she was engaged because she was been walking around with this ring even though she claimed she bought it for herself. But, like, girl, they all knew you was engaged, so you should have just told them. Now, her whole thing is she wanted all the sisters to be there. But my thing is this, as far as Tamar's concerned, Every time you invite the sisters out, Tamar don't show up. She don't call, don't text, don't say she's not coming. She just don't show up. So my thing would be just just tell the sisters what it is and Tamar just have to find that on the back end. Like, obviously, if I'm calling you telling you I want all the family together because I have an announcement, I would think that you would care enough about me to show up. Um, because Tamar don't always be working. She just don't want to be there. But whatever. So Tamar wants to play in the wedding, but she don't want Tawanda involved. But I'm assuming, but from what it sounds like, I'm guessing they were able to come to a consensus uh, for both of them to plan the wedding. And my thing is this: I wouldn't want Tamar planning my wedding because she seems like the type that likes to take over. She seems like the type that won't consider what the bride wants. She'll, uh, what's the word? She won't take into consideration what the bride wants. She'll just do what she want to do to try to make it look good and try to put on for other people. Um, but they definitely did say Tawanda would be the better choice because Tawanda is more organized. And then not only that, but Tawanda is, seems more level-headed than Tamar. Um, but I'm assuming that, you know, like I said, that they're going to work together. Now, that whole thing with Birdman calling Tawanda while her and Tracy was out jump roping, why... Why? Now, I'm confused. I thought that the bride and the groom come up with the wedding date, not the wedding planner. Y'all supposed to give the wedding planner the date so she would have so she would have something to work with and know how, how much time she got to do whatever it is that he or she needs to do. Like, when does the wedding planner come up with the date? Now, he going to this whole thing talking about some he needs dates because he wanted to tattoo the date on his forehead. I'm just like, that's so stupid. Like, because like Tony said, what if y'all change the date or what if y'all get divorced? Now, what you going to tell people? Oh, why you got that tattoo on your forehead? And then you got to come up with this lie about why you got this tattoo on your forehead. But whatever. Tracy's 
having a baby shower. Now, I'm confused. Now, I don't know what day this episode was shot or these scenes, but the baby, the baby shower was the next week. Why are you just not inviting people to the baby shower? Like, you supposed to... Like... I don't know. Now, y'all know that, you know, these shows are edited and whatever. I'm just like, you supposed to have been had that date for the baby shower. And you should have been invited to the family because what if the family got stuff to do? Now, mind you, Tony said, girl, I can't come because uh, Diesel is starring in the movie. Now, is that the one that's got autism or is it the other one? Anyway, Diesel is starring in the movie and the parents got to be there so she's not going to be able to make it. So Wanda and Trina, Evelyn's coming. Um, she hasn't heard from Tamar, so she don't know if Tamar's coming. Now, mind you, she called daddy, told him that she was having a boy. The daddy said, girl, because Trina was, I mean, Tawanda, no, Tracy said, you're invited. You know you are. And so he was like, girl, what you mean? So he wants to bring his wife. He says that, you know, um, Ms. Wanda is crazy about Kevin and Olivia. Now, let me just say this, because this whole time they kept talking about how mom was going to feel. Now, we have to take into consideration that mama, that, um, Michael Senior and Wanda been married for like ten years at least. This ain't something that just, like they just got married like they just got married six months ago. Wanda and Michael Senior been married by at least at least a good ten years. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I understand you know Miss Ellen being heard about how things went down. Um, she says that um, you know you know that he cheated on her or whatever but from his storyline you know him and Wanda kind of got together after him and Evelyn got divorced whatever so she's but it's like girl it's been 10 years at least girl it's time for you to move on he don't move on to marry somebody else like I'm confused like girl are you still in love with Michael like I'm not understanding you know like what what the big grudge is like girl it's time to move on now and like uh, Tracy said, you know, this isn't a, now the other, uh, this is not about mama and her feeling. This is about Kevin and Olivia and the baby. So now she did say that she was going to allow the daddy to bring Ms. Wanda, but she needs to talk to the mama. Um, now I'm wondering when she brings it up to her, is she going to bring it up like daddy's bringing Wanda, or is she gonna bring it up like, is it okay if I allow daddy to bring? Because at the end of the day, it's not your mama's decision to who. I now I understand you having respect for your parents, but I kind of feel like, to a certain extent, your parents' opinion don't matter because this is your son's baby shower, and your son girlfriend baby shower. It's so like, I don't feel like now I. I'm I'm guessing maybe she wants. Evelyn to be prepared because she don't want to be blindsided. But at the same time, like, it's not none of Evelyn's business who, who whether or not the, the daddy brings his wife. But anyway, um, I kind of feel like, you know, like Tony said, this is the new generation. It's time to move past all this bull crap. You know, you can't, whether whether Evelyn wants to go along with it or not, Ms. Wanda is a part of the family. Ms. Wanda... And even last season, like Miss Wanda said, she thinks that Evelyn, Evelyn kind of feels like Miss Wanda is going to come and try to take over and be the new, like, the take over the spotlight. Miss Wanda just like, girl, I'm, you know, that's not what I'm about. I just want to be in part, a part of the family. And so it's like, girl, the daddy and mama been married 10 years. Why y'all won't, I don't know. It's, it's too much drama going on with this family. But I mean, and it seems to me more so that Evelyn got more of an issue with Wanda than Wanda has an issue with her. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know, you know, if Wanda's going to show up or if Evelyn's going to show up. How, you know, if they both are there, how it's going to take over. I just feel like Evelyn, girl, move on. It's been 10 years. Like, it, it, girl, go find you a man. Maybe if, uh, uh, get you a good man. He'll help you forget about whatever it is. Like, I... <laughs> And I like Evelyn, but I just, I don't understand. Like, girl, move on. That's the, if I can't say nothing else, move on. Make sure ain't nothing else happen. Now, Tamar going on here lying, talking about something that she's so focused on her career, focused on loving that she don't be thinking about sex. She don't get no urges. She don't get, like, girl, you can miss me with it. You don't get no urges because you and Vince still smashing. That's what that, that's what the tea is. But anyway, that's all I want to talk about. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later.